Today, let's say. Uh, now we have some uh, food, uh, gloves, uh, hats, and um, pampers, and a lot of good things for refugees. And we go on a place where are just mothers and children. The place what we just we left uh, was with students, most of them from Harko, from was was. Uh, uh, bombs from the medicine uh, uh, university. The university. Yeah. We try to do the best, and God will do the rest. I, how I understand, they are two in transa transition. Transition. They stay here two, three days, five days, and after they leave to their relatives in Europe. So let's say, what would you say is the biggest need? Are these, or would you not even know that question answer? Uh, the other side where we was and they, I speak there, they need some matrices. Uh, but for now, they need transportation. Transportation from the border to these places where they take the refugees or who has contacts or relatives to take them and bring them to Germany, Austria, Italy, where they have relatives or friends and they can take them. And that's what we do. That's, we understand this is our wave and we jump on the wave and we want to help them with what they need. Yes, the truck is full with, uh, the bus is full with uh, uh, food and other things, but at the same time we want to serve them with uh, transportation. Thank you for everyone who is in charge with paying the diesel and the needs what we need for these things. And my coffee. <laughs> it's uh, very good when you drive uh, seven, eight hours to have money for coffee. You were? But you I, were I decided to, to, to stay here because I see that uh, Ukrainian need uh, some, uh, someone who will talk with them and help explain because they are... Uh, yeah. What's going on? This Very is, good. Uh, these people are so uh, kind and... Uh, but uh, uh, they can't tell... Uh, yes. But uh, little children they also need to play with them in, in Ukraine because when... Uh, they don't know language, mm -hmm. so if I can do like a little bit for them, that's enough. Yeah. I talked with the people who was uh, 
in that cities which are completely bombed. So they wake up in, at night here and mom is shouting. That's a uh, really hard story. Little kids have such a hard story. Yeah, that's terrible. We, we, with uh, this family, I bring another family from Kiev. Mm -hmm. And I ask them if they go back after the war. And they said they don't have where to go because their house was bombed. And no more house in here. It is sad. And we are sorry we help you in this situation. It would be better to help in other situations, not in this situation. <coughs> uh, do you have a, do you have a count of how many people yeah, yeah, yeah. in countries I, are there? Yes, and we still have like hundred spaces with Ukrainians and different people, so we maybe other family, other houses, they took them, the children, and uh, still other, maybe another 50 people to come. So we have still have, we have another 40 people, different village. How many people are here? At the moment, I think we counted like 150, another 40 on a different village and another uh, 15 on, uh, in that motel. So around 250 people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So what about how? Tell me about the story about your 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 hero. My hero. Uh, two days ago, we was at the border and pick up two mothers and five children. One mother has three boys and one mother has two daughters. And uh, the mother with three boys don't speak English, don't speak just, uh, they speak just uh, Ukrainian. And I asked to my translator to tell them, I will go with them and I buy for them food, uh, juice, water, anything what they want, I pay is everything free. Actually, it's in the name of Jesus. And the little one, my hero, was his face was, and yeah, was uh, a sound of joy. What made me to turn and start to cry? I cry more uh, two days ago, more than last ten months, because of him. After a while, the contact called me. The contact would give me contact. Uh, they, he contacted me and asked me how they are. And I told him, we, I buy and everything is okay. They eat, they drink, and then they are happy. The children is sleeping. But I say about my hero, how he make me cry. And he told me, Alexe, uh, he walked two days in uh, snowing, in cold, without food, without uh, heating, uh, in Indian line to go to the border, night and day. And, uh, that's why, why he was so happy to receive food. It is true, uh, they receive a sandwich and a hot tea and some biscuits in a border and a bag with some food. But after two days of hunger, you can imagine why he, he was that happy and make me again to cry. Yeah, and this little boy was around uh, three years and a half. He, he is my hero. I put him in my Facebook status. He is my hero. Uh, 